The latest info track statistics is showing that Raila Morodinga, if elections were conducted today, Raila Morodinga was to win by 42% and William Samuel Ruto 38% coming second. But what we have seen, William Samuel Ruto has come out and clearly rejected what InfoTrack is trying to give to Kenyans. According to my understanding, all the way I can put this thing is that what William Samuel Ruto is talking is a clear indication that in Kenya we have two divisions, Tatis dynasties and hustlers. William Samuel Ruto has totally believed that he has faults. Any opinion polls conducted, it's not going to be true to Kenyans. Now William Samuel Ruto has to move with the number, imaginations and the thoughts he has that he is going to win general elections come August 9th. Even if William Samuel Ruto loses elections, he is not going to accept. In case you are here for the first time and you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly take a second or to subscribe and put on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, YouTube will automatically notify you. And for the and for those who are here every time watching my content, dining subscribers, thank you very much for always supporting my channel. We are here because of you and we are going very far. I will never get tired of thanking you and praying for you. Now the latest opinion polls showing that Raila Molodinga is leading has come out with another debate among Kenyans. And my questions to you this evening are, do you think the info track opinion poll is true or is a true reflection to the current changes in Kenyan politics since Raila Morodinga and failed Martha Karua as his running mate and William Samoy Ruto and failed Rigathika Shawa as his running mate. Do you think Raila Morodinga is going to maintain until August 9th? Do you agree with what William Samoy Ruto is saying that the opinion balls are not true? They are just trying to manipulate figures so that they can have a chance of stealing votes come 9th August. When William Samoy Ruto was campaigning alone, he was ahead of Raila Molodinga. But since the campaigns have started officially, Raila Molodinga is showing some improvements day in, day out. We know very well that the Raila Martha Karua ticket has given Raida a lot of votes and, and from where you are, you can comment here and tell us clearly how the ground is speaking right now. Because what I know, Martha Karua is going to give Raida Odinga votes and on the other side, Rigathi Shawa is going to give William Samuel Ruto a number of votes. But whom do you think is going to produce a lot of votes in inside? Do you believe that Martha Karua is going to give Raila Molodinga a lot of votes? Or do you believe that Rigathi Shawa is going to give William Samuel Ruto a good number of faults. When William Samuel Ruto was alone in the ground, he was leading in men opinion balls. But right now, once Raila Moro Dinga has overtaken him, he is complaining and 
to my observations if Raila Morodinga wins by any chance William Samoe Ruto is not going to accept the results Kenyans have to play safe and they have to come out and show who is likely to win because in port sides when Raila is campaigning he has number when William Samoe Ruto is campaigning he also has numbers Kenyans love listening to what the presidential candidates has for them and that's why mostly in rallies you get Raila Morodinga having huge clouds as well William Samoe Ruto now in this video I'm going to play do you think or do you support what William Samoe Ruto is saying and if the info truck or an other institutions giving out opinion polls are favoring Raila Morodinga do you think William Samoe Ruto is right to reject those results of late we have seen William Samoe Ruto uh, being against of so many things he said he's not going to appear in any presidential debates he was complaining the other day about the TV stations airing Raila Morodinga events longer than those of Kenya Kwanza. And right now, here the opinion boards are. What do you think about this? Watch this video and leave a comment so that we can see your reactions. Yake kusaka kura kaunti za Wajiri na Garissa, hi leo naibu rais William Ruto alitua kaunti ya Mandera kunadi sera zake huku mchuano wa ikulu unapo jongea. Mandera muko tayari? Hebu lione wala anasema tuko tayari, tuko tayari, tuko tayari. Huku takwimu za shirika la Infotruck zikibaini Ruto wamebanwa katika kura ya maoni na mpinzani wake mkuu kinara wa azimio Raila Odinga katika kinyanganyiro cha kumridhi rais Uhuru Kenyatta naibu rais alikuwa na mtazamo tofauti Sasa kwa sababu wamekwama system imekwama deep state imekwama manifesto yao imekwama wameenda kumanufacture at opinion poll at ya kusema ya kwamba sijui wataendelea namna gani wameenda wakasema sijui NSIS wameenda wakasema opinion poll mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa Mandera na watu wa Kenya hawa watu tumewashinda na njia zote ni wagombea wanne waliofuzu kwa kipute cha ikulu mwezi Agosti Ruto Odinga Profesa George Wajakoya wa chama cha Roots na David Moore wa Higa anayepeperusha bendera ya agano mchuano huo hata hivyo umebainika kuwa wafarasi wawili huku Ruto akidai Odinga anapigwa jeki na taasisi za serikali tumewashinda na mpango tumewashinda na sera hawana chochote tutawashinda asubuhi na mapema tarehe 9 mwezi wa 8 mimi naomba watu wa Elwak Tafadhali msipoteze kura yenu. Kura yenu ijenge madarasa. Mchagua ule kiongozi anajenga madarasa. Mimi nilikwambia. Nilikwambia viongozi wamekuacha lakini wananchi wa Elwakh na Mandera wako na wewe. Kaunti tatu za kaskazini mashariki Garissa, Mandera na Wajir zina takriban wapiga kura 1617 kulingana na sajili ya tume ya uchaguzi nchini IBC katika juhudi za kuinda kipande cha kapu la kura hizo Ruto ameahidi kushughulikia masuala ya nyeti yanayoathiri eneo hili iwapo wataingia ikulu Hakuna uraia mara mbili Kenya vile wale wa Kenya wengine wanapatiwa ID na kitambulisho pamoja na passport lazima watu wa Mandera na wa Somali wapatiwe kitambulisho na, na ID kama wa Kenya wengine tangu wasalamiane census namba zetu zote zimekuja chini tangu wasalamiane makamu wa rais boda ya Somalia na sisi imefungwa bidhaa bebe ya bidhaa imeenda juu sasa watu wetu hapa wanaumia lipo pia swala la vijana wanaojipata taabani kwa kushukiwa kushiriki masala ya ugaidi kama kuna mwalifu lazima apelekwe kotini lakini mambo ya extrajudicial killing 
ati mtu wanapotea watoto wanapotea wazee wanapotea hiyo mambo tutakomesha msafara wa Ruto ukielekea kaunti za Marsabit na Isiolo zilizo na wapiga kura 2251 huku zikisalia siku 61 mbivu na mbichi kubainika debeni Francis Gashuri Runinga ya Citizen